What's going on folks? Uh, I want to make as brief of a video as possible because of something that took place last night that was very peculiar to me. Um, and I've heard of children saying peculiar things regarding spiritual issues and having dreams or whatever else that seemed somewhat significant and I'm sure that that encourages some people and and you know some people are stirred by those kind of things and that's good for me it never really got my attention that much and until it happened in my own home and um, I've got a bunch of kids um, one of them is three and she doesn't speak very well she doesn't speak as good as I would like for her to at her age and of course we expose her to a great amount of spiritual things there's more Jesus exposed to these kids than there are in most homes so she's heard a lot and she's heard things in church but last night she was yelling for me from her room and when I got in there she was telling me that she had a dream and I was like, Ada, have you even been to sleep yet? I don't even feel like you've been to sleep yet. Just go to sleep and be quiet that you don't wake anybody else up. And, and that was that. And I tried to move on. She said, Dad, I had a dream. <laughs> so I was like, okay, what did you dream about? But when she began to tell me the things that she had dreamed about, and some of it I just can't wrap my mind around because of the terminology that she used. And I made note of some things that she said because I was so taken aback by what it was that she did say. She began to tell me that she saw Jesus in the sky. And she said that he's coming to get his wife. And when she said that, I was kind of weirded out. I was like, man, where would where would she even come up with that if I ever said anything it was bride if the church ever said anything it was bride but to use the terminology he's coming to get his wife was was weird to me it got my attention so I began to really listen to what she was saying and she said he's gonna take us up there to be with him she said God has a house in heaven she said it's beautiful up there I'm like, where is she coming up with this stuff, man? And she began to tell me, she said, not everyone gets to go. Some people go to time out. <laughs> and I began to question her about what this time out is. And she expressed to me that time out was this place that we know as hell. So I began to put her back to bed after she was expressing to me the things that she had seen. And as I was leaving the room, she said, Dad, she said, the clothes up there are white. And man, I just, if you knew the child, you'd know why I'm so taken aback by this, that she's the most potentially one of the most carnal of my kids. She's the youngest one that I currently have besides the one that's fixing to be born. And I mean, if she were one of the disciples, she would be the one that was arguing about who's the greatest. Not the one that you would expect to have spiritual statements come out of her mouth. Typically it's about unicorns or horses or food. It's never really about this kind of things, especially things of such deep theological truth and folks for her to say the things that she said to me was mind-blowing to me coming from her I mean it could have came from another child and that would be different but to come from her speaks volumes she surely she surely saw something and man we, we know we know the truth and we know the things that are going to come to pass but to hear it come out of the mouth of a babe suggests to me that God wants us to be keenly aware of how, how close it is and how near it is unto the door. Again, she said that Jesus is in the sky, that he's coming for his wife, and that he's going to take us up there to be with him. She says that God has a place in heaven, a house in heaven, and it's beautiful up there. But not everybody's going to get to go that some folks are going to time out. 
and that the people up there are dressed in white, that their clothes are white. And folks, that's the truth of the matter. We know that Christ is coming for a bride, a glorious church that's made herself ready. And they will walk with him in white because they are worthy that, that God has prepared a place for us that love him. He, Jesus says, I go and prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there you may be also. But folks, there is folks that's going to go to this place called hell to this place of time out if we can put it that way there is folks that's going to go there and they're not going to walk with Jesus they're not going to be delivered they're not going to live with him for all of eternity what are we going to do about it folks I don't want to drag this video out too long but folks there is a place called heaven there is a loving savior who's coming in the clouds and we're going to forever be with him we're going to meet him in the air but folks, what are we doing about making sure other folks are ready? I dare not spend another day of my life living for self and wasting time that I could be using to bring others into the kingdom, to bring others to realize the goodness of God and the sufficiency of the blood. I don't want to waste another minute of my life. I see truck drivers. I see cashiers at Walmart. I see clerks at Food City. I see people at the gas station. I got family. I got co-workers. And the question is, are they hearing about Jesus? Is somebody praying for them? Is somebody loving them? And folks, that's yours and mine call here today to get the job of the work of the gospel done while it is still day. For the night is coming, it is written, in which no man shall be able to work. Folks, I wish you knew this child and her nature because you would be far more mind blown that these things would ever come out of her mouth. I'm gonna tell you one more time just as a reminder, and I want you to think on the truth of what's fixing to come to pass, that Jesus Christ, he is in the sky, if we can put it that way. And he is coming back for his wife, if we can put it that way. And he's gonna take us up there to be with him because God has a house in heaven, a place that is beautiful, as she said, a place where people wear white. Folks, these things will come to pass. And I would that each of us would have an abundant entrance that we would walk in with flying colors, if I can put it that way. Don't let people die on your watch. Don't let people perish and go to hell on your watch. Don't let folks wind up in that place of time out on your watch, folks. Out of the mouth of babes, the mysteries of God have been revealed. I've felt the Lord in speaking about this. Count it as something worth considering in Jesus' name.